And you could tell by the latest hearing, the eighth hearing, primetime hearing that the media salivate over and slobber over, what a joke this is, how they tried to humiliate Senator Hawley. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And the January 6th committee didn't embarrass Josh Hawley. Josh Hawley did a perfectly good job of that himself. And it's not a surprise at all. Hawley is nothing but a complete fraud. He poses as a populist, but yet opposes every bill that would help the working class. He claims he wants to defeat D.C. corruption, and yet he's complicit in corruption like no other. Well, this last hearing, 187 minutes before Donald Trump issued a video. And they had a grand old time at that hearing. Uh, they were laughing it up. They thought what they were doing was, was so cool, trying to embarrass the former president, trying to embarrass Senator Hawley and so forth. The heinous attack yesterday. Yesterday is a hard word for me. And so when he posed for the sake of the cameras and raised his stupid fist and got caught on candid camera later, running uh, like a weak little spineless worm that he is, it's simply karma finally catching up with the scoundrel. But Republicans are nothing if not complicit in each other's crimes to the end. And so the right wing media is crying its crocodile tears, lamenting how the January 6th committee was picking on poor little treasonous Josh Hawley. And like all Republican arguments, it's a ridiculous, baseless defense. They want to paint a picture of poor little Josh. The scary liberal media is coming after him and we should all ease up on him. And the American response should be, hell no. We should have zero tolerance for treason. And the images of Holly running for his life should be played every time that Jacqueline opens his mouth. Every miserable campaign ad he pushes out when he begs Missouri to reelect him should be greeted with a nonstop loop of him running for his life. Holly is a two-timing fascist, and he deserves not only to be embarrassed, but honestly, he should be expelled from his seat for the atrocities he has pushed. He is an absolute sham. He has claimed, or he claims he wants to fight corruption in politics, but if that's the case, public enemy number one would be himself. Holly raising a fist and then moments later tucking tail and running away is a perfect picture of his entire career as a politician. This guy is all talk and no action. All he cares about is getting elected and re-elected perpetually so he can abuse the system and never work an actual job where he would actually have to actually contribute to society. Because he's incapable of that. Holly has nothing to give to society. He only seeks to take from society. Take a free ride on the public dollar and bow down to the corporate lobbyists as their humble poodle, all to keep his miserable, cushy, little, comfortable place in the Senate, a job where if you can con the public, you've escaped any accountability at all. Holly is such an embarrassment, he's actually started to give Ted Cruz a run for his money as the most hated man in Congress. It used to be that lunatics would sometimes get elected to the House, but never the Senate. But Cruz and Holly have broken that mold to pieces. These two are as bat crazy as anyone in Republican politics, and quite possibly the most sinister as they know better. They simply choose evil and fascism because it's their best prospect for advancing their own careers. That's why Holly ran for his life, because he knows those Neanderthals who sacked the Capitol are completely insane. Anybody who will get murderously violent over a blatant lie, all because it's a lie spoken by their hero politician, is dangerous beyond words. And Republican politics as a whole is frightening and dangerous, and they're trying to make it even more so. Just look at the people they're trying to get into the Senate now. J.D. Vance and Herschel Walker amongst a swath of others who shouldn't be running a lemonade stand, let alone public, holding public office are their chosen ones. But the reality is to accept the modern Republican platform of blatant fascism, you're never going to attract an honest candidate. This is simply the kind of scum that are going to come out of the domestic terrorism that they're breeding on the right. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.